Hello, I'm making this video to uh, demonstrate how to integrate outcomes ratings assessment into your Canvas course um, so you can send uh, some data out to um, the administrators who are tracking outcomes assessment um, without having to do a whole lot of difficult work. Um, all you have to do is basically set up the engine in Canvas in order to have the automated process kind of do the rest. You just have to click what ratings you want to give to students for certain assignment work that we're using to evaluate out, uh, to do the outcomes assessment and then Canvas will take care of the rest as long as we set it up properly. So here's a brief description. Um, here's some instructions that um, you may have been given for how to do this and I'm just going to kind of walk through these instructions and do a demonstration. So I've got here um, one of my very old Canvas courses before I started using uh, Canvas uh, in a little more robust way. So at this point I had only been uh, really using Canvas um, as a files repository for my students but I wasn't even using I wasn't even grading really on Canvas. Um, I was doing all my grades separately uh, on Excel spreadsheets from how I'd done it back in grad school. So this might be a good example in case you don't use Canvas for almost anything or maybe you um, at the beginning of the quarter, you know, they say publish your Canvas courses and you just say we're not using Canvas and publish it and that's it. Um, so even if you don't have anything else in your Canvas website uh, set up or uh, designed or created, um, you'll be able to see how to do this process. You don't have to do things through Canvas. Um, you don't have to run your whole class through Canvas in order to uh, make it available for this outcomes assessment. So let's, uh, I'll show you how that works. So um, the first thing that we need to do, this whole first part of the instructions, is just getting Canvas uh, hooked up with the rubric criteria for the outcomes assessment. Um, before we ever link it to an assignment uh, of student work that we're going to be doing the rating on, uh, first uh, it just needs to be kind of plugged into the course itself. So to do that, we're going to go to outcomes in the navigation page. I'm here at the kind of home page for my Canvas uh, class um, and I'll go down here on the sidebar to outcomes I'll click on that and then um, the instructions say find outcomes but really what we're looking for is just this search button here that says find so I will click on that next um, and actually this is there we go I've got the window kind of minimized a little bit here but the next thing we'll click on is account standards and then um, we'll go to Bellevue College and then this for just the pilot program there's this folder here that says use this for the pilot so we'll click on that and then you'll decide which outcome which gen ed outcome you want to be uh, rating doing the rating for uh, this was my critical reasoning class so let's choose creative and critical thinking uh, I click on that folder and then it brings up this rubric right here once I've selected it I'll go down here to import and click OK. Yes, import this. OK, import successful. All right. Um, so now that's the first step. That simple. So now Canvas knows that this outcome is sort of plugged into the course. It's available to be used uh, to be now linked with an assignment that you'll actually, that's where you'll actually do the rating. So that's now here at bullet point two choose a Canvas assignment that will be tied to the outcome rubric criteria. Now if, uh, like I'm kind of doing this demonstration, not assuming that you have any assignments already programmed into Canvas. So before we can link a Canvas assignment with this rubric, first got to create it. So how do we do that? Go to assignments here on the sidebar and then click this button up here that is add assignment. So we'll click on that. And this assignment, you can give it a name. I'm just going to call it um, Pilot for the pilot program. It, if, you're, if you're not, if this isn't a graded assignment that you're using Canvas to do the grades, it, it really doesn't matter too much what you put in here. You don't have to make this all fleshed out as if you were doing a graded assignment. However, if you do have graded assignments that are already in Canvas, you can still you can use the same method I'm about to show uh, to do ratings for outcome assessment alongside the grading. 
there'll be two sort of separate ways that you're you're grading the one is grading one is rating um, they'll have these two different things that you'll kind of be doing side by side I'll show you how that works too um, but let's um, we don't even have to give it points um, we do have to click here about what type of submission type. If it's online, then it's asking you what kind of online option do you want for the submission. But let's say you're just collecting a bunch of papers from students, like um, you're having them um, write some answer to a question, maybe like a short essay, and then you're going to be looking at that for outcomes assessment. Even if, if you printed out a test and you, you graded the test, um, we just need a way to plug it into the Canvas system. So maybe, let's say, no submission, because you're not having students upload anything to Canvas or anything like that. So let's make this really bare bones. No due dates, no peer reviews, no group, none of this stuff matters. All you really need to do is hit Save and Publish. And now, <clears throat> uh, now we've got the assignment created. And if we go back to Assignments, there's our assignment right there. Okay, now we're ready to go back to the little um, instruction sheet here. Now that we have an assignment that we want to link with the outcomes assessment, um, now we've got to do that. So we're going to click on the assignment name. Okay, so we go back to the screen. And then we're going to click this Add Rubric button down here. Okay, and now we need to next click Find Outcome. And because we've already linked that outcome before with the Canvas class, it shows up here in the list. If we hadn't linked it, it wouldn't show up here. So that's why we had to do the whole first step of the instructions here. But now it's here, so we can select it and we can say Import. And then we hit OK. All right, and then um, now we want to make sure that we have uh, used the criteria. Where was that? Do, 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 do. Yeah, we don't want to have the use this rubric for assessment grading. Um, I think that's what this part of the instructions is for. Use this criteria for scoring. You don't want to. Um, and, and this is to separate the grading from the outcomes assessment rating. So you don't want to link the, the student's score uh, to anything about how their final grade is going to be determined for this. Usually we're not doing something like that. But um, Canvas does allow you to not have to create two different assignments if you want to grade the assignment and rate it. Um, so as long as this is unchecked, we're, we're good on that. Now we need to just click um, Create Rubric. And it should be all ready to go. Now, so we've, we've uh, completed the, these instructions here. And what that's accomplished is that we've created an assignment in Canvas that's now linked with the um, outcomes assessment rubric uh, that we're using for the rating. Um, but you still have to actually do the rating um, and let me show you how that would work. Um, you could click down here on speed grader or navigate to speed grader however you do it from other access points but this is one way you could go to the assignment and then go down to the bottom and click speed grader and that'll pop up the speed grader here. And now I've got all my students here in the class they're already populated here because Canvas automatically does that when it creates the website for every class that you are going to be teaching. Um, and then I could go through them sort of one by one. So I'm imagining, you know, I've got this stack of papers that I collected to do outcomes assessment. Nothing's in Canvas. I just created this kind of placeholder assignment for it. And now I'm going through them and I, I'm deciding, you know, what rating does this get on the rubric for the critical reasoning outcomes assessment and it's a scale from one to four so I've graded all those maybe handwritten them and then I got the stack of papers and I'm going through the stack of papers and matching it up with student so maybe this student um, I need to click on view rubric and then this is going to show up you can slide the bar over so you can read it a little bit better <laughs> um, and then uh, I just I could either uh, type into this box what score or I could actually just click on it right here so maybe I was like this student nailed it they're getting a full four point um, their answer qualifies for this rating for outcomes assessment uh, I, if I just click on that box it automatically pops that in and then I just click save and now I've rated the assignment now if this was a graded assignment 
I could have also given a grade up here, and that's the grade that would factor into the student's grade in Canvas when it, Canvas is calculating grades if you do that, um, while also having the rating for the outcomes assessment. Those are two separate things. So even though they show up on the same page here, the boxes are right next to each other, the information goes to different places. Um, a grade, if I put a grade up here, that's going to plop into the student's actual score for the class in Canvas. But this rubric, this grading, this rating rubric here, uh, doesn't affect the student's grade in any way. This information, once you've recorded a rating, that just sends that information to um, other administrative bodies that collect that information and then do um, analytic assessment with it. So then I go to the next student and then I click on view rubric. Maybe this student, <laughs> maybe this student, student didn't do so good. So they barely, barely gave me an intelligible answer. So then I rate it a one and then I save and I can go to the next one and so on and so forth. So I'd be going through the papers and just doing the rating. Boom, 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 boom. And there you go. And that's it. That's all that's required. Um, so uh, I think that covers every step of the process there. Let me know. Um, I'm, I guess I never said who I was in case this is so you're, someone else is getting this video. Um, I'm Tim Lineman. I'm in the philosophy department. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to get a hold of me. Um, I'm not super involved in this, but I um, understand Canvas pretty well, and I understand uh, how this feature of Canvas works. So I'd be happy to answer your questions. Um, here, I'll uh, give you my email address right here in this assignment comment, as you can see it on the video. Um, I'm tim.lineman at um, bellevuecollege.edu. You can also reach me at just Tim Lineman um, <clears throat> at gmail.com. Uh, make sure you get all the ends in there. The ends uh, matter. <laughs> I'm very German. Okay, um, so there you go. I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.